then things get a little rough as we get into the afternoon. We started with storms yesterday morning. We're going to end with storms as we go into today as well. So let's talk about it. We'll take a look at Storm Tracker 4, the big red sleep you see on the board here. Nothing to track right now. Like I said, good start to your Sunday morning. It's not going to be the best end to your Sunday afternoon. So again, right now, taking a look at that sweep, you see nothing picking up on the board currently. But if we pull this out to a wider view, then you start seeing the action. So clear for us now, but you see all the green. That's the rain. Pockets a little heavier rain. The yellows and deeper greens you see just starting to push into New York right now, but it is heading our direction. So as we get into the afternoon, this is going to clip particularly the north and west zones, especially those are the areas in our region that we're going to see the best potential for stormy weather to pass through, mostly in the form of rain. Some showers may be a little heavier in the afternoon and early evening hours as well. Here are temperatures right now. Farmingdale, you're sitting at 53 degrees. 52 in White Plain and in Central Park 56 degrees for the current. Not bad, but you probably want a light jacket to step out the door. You may not need it the whole day though. We'll talk about your forecast high temperatures and we'll also look into the work week that's coming up in just a few minutes. We begin much as we get into the afternoon. This is a live look at Storm Tracker 4. Nothing on the board right now with that big red sweep, but later on today, this live view. One interview with the premiere of her new show Sunday Night with Megan Kelly. It airs tonight at 7 right here on NBC4. Well, yesterday turned out to be a beautiful day, as predicted, and mm -hmm. this beautiful lady has joined us from Philadelphia. <laughs> Welcome, Crystal Clyde. Thank you. Good uh, to be here. Nice. And it's a good morning. Looking it good so a, far. It's a good yeah. morning. It looks very nice. This isn't exactly going to be the picture that we see, say, a little later on this afternoon. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, we got some rain heading our way. That's what we started with. That's what we're going to be ending with. So we are tracking some storms for the end of your weekend. Let's take a look live outside right now. You can see the sunshine coming down. Very nice start. So you got the run. You got the errands to do. You will be fine. But as you get into the afternoon, then you got to carry the umbrella with you and make those plans for us to be dealing with some of those storms passing by. So let's take a look right now. Storm Tracker 4, the big red sweep. What we've got going on right now is a clear view out there. Again, I don't think this is going to be the case once we get into the afternoon hours, particularly north and west. So let's take a little wider view here to show you what I'm talking about. This is our satellite and radar view. So the green that you see, there's the rain. It's passing right now to the north. If only it could just stay to the north and be a perfect Sunday. Not going to be the case. This is going to slip down just just enough that it'll move right into our area, as I mentioned, particularly the north and west zones. Take a closer look in, and what we see here is that right now we're still pretty much in the clear across our area. Not going to continue, though. You see the clouds across the board. They're going to start slipping in, and we will start to have the cloudy conditions late morning. We'll want to move in. So, again, it's all about the clouds building in through today. Then those p.m. showers north and west. Possibly a thunderstorm overnight. That would mostly be north, I believe. And then more rain for tomorrow. In fact, Monday looks rainier. That's truly a hood day, an umbrella day, because it's going to be a rainier forecast across the region. Temperatures right now on Long Island. We're looking right now uh, Mattuck at 56 degrees. Hampton Bay is at 54 and Eastport also 54. So definitely the light jacket weather. I had a light jacket as I walked in the door this morning. Then we track across the entire region. Newburgh sitting at 46. White Plains at 52. And in Central Park right now we're at 56 degrees. Trenton faring nicely as well. 50 the temperature right now. As we get into the afternoon, here are your forecast highs. 71 degrees in New York and White Plains. We're at 64 for Monticello and 67 for Andover. Montauk, you're looking, Montauk rather, looking at 67 for the forecast high temperature. Sunset time 823 this evening. Not going to be perfect patio weather though as those storms do approach. Let's take a look at storm tracker right now as we go throughout the day. So we go from 6 a.m. positive 11 a.m. Northernmost zones of our area going to start seeing some of those showers move in. I think actually 10, 11 a.m. And this is a little shy here. It might be further in. Then we go through to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Pockets of heavier rain north are possible. And then as we continue on, we will see that rain starts to scoop on in. That's in your afternoon hours that we look at our 10-day forecast. There's the showers that we're looking at for us. 71 degrees today, 72 tomorrow. A rainier forecast as, for us as well as we go into your Tuesday, Wednesday. These days aren't washout forecasts, but we will see some spotty showers. Then it's a little more sunshine that we are tracking as we go throughout the forecast with those temperatures into the mid-80s. And that is going to be a nice next weekend. Get real-time weather whenever and wherever you are on the NBC4 New York app. Watch Storm Tracker 4's powerful and precise radar sweep. Get your hourly forecasts and weather alerts for your neighborhood. Your most for NBC4 New York app. It's all for free. We could hit the pause button with today's <laughs> forecast. Crystal's in for Raphael this morning. Uh, a good start to the day. Things certainly do change. It is. Yeah, it's a good start today. I would love a
And take a look at our radar and satellite right now. You may look out to that as well. A little while longer. Monday is when we'll start to tap into that. More. 60 in White Plains and Bridgewater, York, 57. Down to Tom's River, 65 degrees. Monticello at 50. And Montauk, you're at 61 degrees right now. So, light jacket, you head out the door, you are good to go. And if you just have the morning plans, you'll be fine. It's in the afternoon that you may want to carry the umbrella. Morristown today, a high of 70 degrees, 71 in White Plains. And New Paltz sitting at 68. Flemington, 75 for the forecast high. And we are looking at some low 70s right along Long Island. So we saw sunrise nice and early this morning. Sunset will be at 823. Winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. But they may crank up just a tad more if they pick up strength. You're heading to the Mets game today. 110 start time. Watch out for maybe a spot shower starting to move in, especially towards the tail end of the game. About 70 degrees for the game as well with those increasing clouds. Not bad weather to go watch some baseball. Future tracker. For us, we've got the clear conditions right now. Here's the clouds I was just talking about. Put it into motion. They're really built in by 11 a.m. Northern zone starts to see light showers passing by. I think a maybe pocket of heavier rain starts in the early afternoon hours. Again, mostly north and west neighborhoods of the city. But I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see uh, some rain picking up in the city as we go through the afternoon hours. Notice the heaviest stuff, though, does stay to the north through 6 o'clock. And then it continues to push off as we go into the overnight. Still could see an isolated rumble of thunder, though, as we go into your overnight. It's Monday that we've got a better chance of showers and some thunderstorms, 72 degrees for the forecast. We cool down Tuesday, Wednesday with a chance of a spot.